South Sudan's government says it plans to increase oil production. The country currently produces 155,000 barrels a day. Before the war in 2013, it was producing 320,000 barrels a day. Authorities say they want to use the resources from the oil to scale up services in health, education and energy. We have a vision that we want to be the economic hub of this part of the world, particularly East and Central Africa. South Sudan launched a six million US dollar petroleum engineering and geoscience workstation at the country's University of Juba. The university says the workstation contains some applications for geosciences and petroleum that can be used to simulate oil wells, monitor and interpret data, and can also be used for capacity building of oil workers. The African Energy Chamber, a continental energy entity that promotes the interests of the African continent, its companies and its people says South Sudan still needs to do more. We got to continue to include um, increasing free markets, limited government, individual liberties, rule of law. It is right. That is what makes us African, and that's what makes us better, and that's what is going to make our industry better. In 2018, the U.S. government imposed sanctions on 15 oil firms for their alleged involvement in South Sudan's conflict. South Sudan's government is now urging the U.S. government to lift the sanctions to make doing business easier for those interested to invest in the country's petroleum sector. Patrick Oyet, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.